Okay, here's another type of question. What is the value of the underlined digit? All right, so we look down here at this number, and we see that the underlined digit is a 7. Now remember that 7 is not equal to just 7. It's not equal to 7 little fingers. Remember that these numbers change depending on their place, depending on their position in this number. This 7 is not equal to this 7, which is not equal to that 7. They all look the same, but because they're in different positions, they are equal to a different amount. All right? And if we know our place value, we know this is the ones, the tens, the hundreds, we cross the comma into the land of a thousand. So now we have the a thousand, ten thousands, hundred thousands. We see another comma. Come on, there we go. We see another comma. We are now crossing to the land of the millions. We have million, ten millions, hundred millions. All right. So we know that this 7 is actually equal to 700 million. So we need to write 700 million here. So the two zeros, we now put the comma for a million. One, two, three more zeros. We put the comma for a thousand. And one, two, three more zeros. And we have 700 million right there. Just like this 700 million that this 7 represents. And notice that basically what happened is all these numbers back here turned into zeros. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight digits after the seven. And down here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zeros. Okay? So they are both 700 million. This type of question says, what is 400 million plus 60 million plus 400,000 plus 50 plus 9? Okay, hopefully you recognize that this is expanded form. And you need to write it in standard form. All right, so we can start right here. The first number we're going to have is a 4. This is the biggest. All right. But we notice that this four is in the hundred millions place. Hundred millions place. That's very important. The next number we're going to put looks like it might be a six. Let's see. This six is in the ten millions place. Okay. Now the ten millions place is right next to the hundred millions place. We can put the six right there. Let's look at the next number. Well, this number is 400,000, 400,000. So that means we didn't have any numbers in the millions place. We didn't have any numbers in the 100,000, or I'm sorry, we didn't have any numbers in the millions place. Because we didn't have any numbers in the millions place, we got to put a zero. Put our comma for the millions, and now we can come to the hundred thousands place where we will put our four in the hundred thousands place. Let's see what our next number is. It is fifty. Ooh, fifty. Well you know what? Look, we skipped a whole bunch of place values. We didn't have any numbers here in the ten thousands, the thousands, or the hundreds. Okay? That doesn't mean we can just leave them out. Because if we leave them out, these numbers won't be in the right position. So we need to put a zero for the ten thousands, a zero for the thousands, put our comma for the thousands. Then we put another zero because we had nothing in the hundreds place. Now we can put our 50, which is a five in the tens place. A five in the tens place. Five. Okay. And then the next number over is a nine. Okay. Well, the 9 goes right next to the 10's place, so that's okay. We can put the 9. And then, if you were to take your calculator and add this all together, you would get this number right here. However, if you know your place values, you don't really need to do that and spend all day typing zeros, which is boring. Okay? Just remember your place values, be careful, and type the number right there.